Hello everyone, um, today I wanted to share uh, another way how to compile the firmware for the Manta M8P uh, m board. So last time I did uh, uh, an update to the uh, firmware uh, manually by using the command line. Uh, this time I wanted to sh share how to do it with the uh, Kias uh, script so you log it into the uh, console and you go to the key uh, directory and you launch and you launch the uh, key uh, key script so key.sh so you get to this main menu uh, so I did an update to the uh, clipper uh, software midweek uh, so let's check anyway so let's go to update and let's see if there are any updates uh, that um, was missing no everything looks uh, okay that's good so let's go back and we go to number four which advance the advance option so number four and here uh, on number four uh, there is a firmware where there are four options you, you get a build only you can do a flash only build plus flash and get the MCU ID uh, let's check the MCU ID okay five and let's do the uh, number one the USB so here you see the uh, USB ID that you actually uh, use when you do uh, the make flash uh, command line and you also this ID is the one that you uh, set in the configuration file so this is one way uh, to retrieve this ID instead of doing the uh, the command line by by uh, by ID uh, for the um, uh, devices okay so we've done that so um, let's do a build only so let's build the firmware option number two and here we enter in the menu uh, on the uh, manual on section 6.2 uh, there are all the options that you need to set to do uh, to compile the firmware for this specific board so each board has a different uh, uh, configuration so you go through the manual and you set all these uh, parameters okay so I already set that one this one so I do a quit so qu uh, quit so on the bottom on the page there is the option quit and it will compile the firmware for this uh, specific board in, in my case the Manta M8 so it does it goes through the compilation which is pretty uh, fast should be so after this we go back to the menu the kids uh, kids uh, script menu and we do a flash uh, actually we do a yes the flash option it's almost over let's compile the firmware and it should be done almost there so basically this this is the same as compiling the firmware and you find this firmware in the uh, clipper uh, dot, uh, clipper slash output directory or folder okay now let's do uh, the option number three we flush it three it says a regular flashing uh, method or updating via SD card update so we want to do with the regular flashing method okay so you have two options here and you pick the one that you prefer I prefer number one and now I'll tell you which one to use the, the uh, ID of the device we do the USB number one and I'll do it 
so make sure to select the correct MCU. Here, I'm not sure if I have to copy this or just uh, say number one. Uh, yeah, okay, so number one is select this, this. If you remember last time, this is the actual, uh, com when you do the make flash, uh, this is the actual directory that you use. Uh, so we'll say yes to continue. And this is doing the flashing on on the device. Uh, so here is saying that is failed. Uh, hmm, strange. Okay, looks like there is an error. Fail to flash, okay. Da -da -da. And if the device is ready in bootloader mode, it can be flashed via the uh, following command. Make flash, flash user ID, or make flash. Okay, so it looks like it via the script has some issues. Uh, console output above. Let's try to do number four. This one, okay. We do compile, okay, so that's good. So we know w uh, if there are any issues. Uh, so I saw this, uh, someone else had this issue, uh, but I don't recall uh, what was the problem. So the manual flash using the command line worked last week, uh, but this time via the script, it's not working. The SD card is inserted, but I'm not using the SD card. I'm flashing directly to the uh, MCU. Um, so after this, if it's not working, I'll try to do a manual flash. Let's do the number two. No, number one again. We the USB. Okay. No MCU found which is weird, it's either not connected or not detected. Okay, let's do five, one, no MCU. So right now it's not working. Okay, let's do this. Let's boot back up. Uh, let's quit and let's do a reboot. Okay. Let's see if this uh, will work, which is strange. Uh, so last time I did it via uh, a console uh, manual uh, using the make flash command and it worked. Uh, it also worked with the SD card but via this script, uh, it's not working. I noticed that someone else had the same issues. Um, also, so let me let's see if I'm back in. Not yet. Okay, so BQ is the password. Didn't change it yet. Okay, we're back in. So let's see where we are. Okay, we are. 
Oh, let me see if I can. Uh, let's go to Clipper. Okay. And here, I should have the command last time. That you see this make flash flash device. Da -da 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 -da. Let's not such file or directory. Okay, this is ls cannot access dev. Okay, this is uh, so something is not working correctly. Um, mm. Let's see if there's something maybe needs to be updated. Uh, two. Everything's up to date. So let's go back. Uh, let's go. Okay, we 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 have the all this advanced. So it's number four. Number five, number one. Okay, so there is some issues here. Okay, let's do this. Uh, let's go back, go back, and let's uh, quit. And uh, let's do a reset. So let's do a shut down and let's see if we can fix it like this well this is good uh, so we know there there are some issues with this script i guess because everything was working uh, last week using common line um, I did not, uh, uh, did I have an update during the week, I think. Yeah, a Clipper update, not a system update, so. Okay. What? From a... A normal instant okay close so ram normal now we need to do some debugging okay okay so it's, uh, it's we can shut it off I shut off the board let's turn it back on let's see if it gets to the update uh, Let's go to the console first and then we'll check it out if we can do the update again via the script. Actually, let's try to see if I can see the ID. Uh, Okay, thank you. Okay, we are in. We are in, okay. And let's do the clipper. Clipper. And then let's go to check it out today. By ID. So now it's this. It. Okay, which is weird. So I had to do a shutdown. The reboot wasn't uh, fixing it. Okay, let's let's see if 
this time works we launch the key script we do an advance four and this time we do a build and a flash number four this menu we know that everything is set correctly we can quit out compilation my guess is that there will be still the same error that it cannot flush it for some reason and there is uh, an issue with the script my guess if it's not working we'll do a shutdown go back into the console and let's do a manual flash uh, and let's see if that way it works so compiler is almost done version 11 0175 okay i actually noticed there is no way to find out the firmware version let's do the number one via usb tension okay number one yes and let's see if it flashes now it's flashing so i guess it was in a bad state or something i don't know so right now again like we do manually there is file already downloaded successfully and there are, then there are some failed and errors but you need to ignore this part you need to figure out this guy so the update worked so my guess is that when you do an update uh, it gets in a weird state where running the script doesn't flush uh, somehow and you need to do a shutdown reboot is not enough and a shutdown well it worked okay it would be great if there, we, the, there was a, a a way to uh, to figure out the firmware version maybe on the web interface uh, I noticed on web interface you cannot do this operation you need to go to the console or list there is a firmware restart but uh, I think it resets the MCU but it doesn't recompile reflash the MCU so so I'm not sure so this is successful and that's the way uh, you do it uh, uh, so there are two methods uh, manually or via the case script B basically they do the same thing uh, so I wanted to do this uh, video to show uh, two different ways we went through some debugging and some issues uh, hopefully if someone uh, has the same problem uh, you can uh, fix it uh, uh, this way okay so please leave a like uh, if you have any comments please leave it um, leave it them in the comment section and make sure to subscribe to the channel for uh, next videos thank you very much and bye bye